Hi, my name is Dima, and today we'll be talking about chromosomal aberrations. Before we begin, let's talk about what they are. They're abnormalities or mutations in chromosomes, which can consist of changes in the number of chromosomes or a change in the structure of a chromosome. Next, let's talk about the kinds of aberrations. First, we have deletions, and these occur when a, cr a portion of a chromosome is missing or removed. Duplications occur when a portion of a chromosome is duplicated. Translocations occur when a portion of one chromosome is transferred to another chromosome. And today, we'll be looking at an example of inversions, which occur when a segment of a chromosome is removed, inverted, and reinserted in a chromosome. It's pericentric if the inversion includes the uh, centromere, and it's paracentric if the inversion does not include the centromere. Mutations may be harmful or non-functional based on the kind of aberration. Aberrations can sometimes cause different adaptations such as inversion loops or compensation loops. When crossing over occurs during these loops, it changes the gamete's viabilities. If the gamete has a duplicated portion of a chromosome, if it's missing a centromere, or if it has a deleted portion of a chromosome. Now let's look at individual one, which is this dog right here. If we match these two chromosomes with each other, we can tell that this region right here is inverted. And it's gonna be pericentric inversions, pericentric inversion because it includes the centromere. To be able to match the chromosomes and maximize the viability, we'll need an inversion loop. And let's note that there's a crossing over occurring between J and K. If we follow the red chromosome, we can tell that it's going to be viable because it has all portions of a chromosome, it has a centromere, and it doesn't have any deleted portions of a chromosome. If we look at the green one, it crosses over between J and K, and it's not going to be viable because it has an extra G and an H, and it's missing L and M. If we follow the blue one, we can tell that it's going to be viable because it has all portions of a chromosome, it has a centromere, and it doesn't have any deleted portions of a chromosome. But if we follow the yellow one, it crosses over between J and K, and it's not going to be viable because it has an extra M and it's missing the G and the H. Therefore, individual ones gametes are only going to be 50% viable. Now let's look at individual two. Individual two has two of the same chromosomes. Therefore, we don't need an inversion loop and they do, they have no mutations. Although they still cross over between K and J, if we follow each one, we can tell that they all have the same chromosome at the end, and they're all going to be viable. Now, if we compare individual 1 with individual 2, individual 1 only had 50% viability because of the pericentric inversion, while individual 2 has 100% viability, although they both had crossing over occurring. Thank you for watching.